hello everybody in this video I want to show you how to set up uh, SDLlib in Visual Studio okay to code C++ program uh, using SDL okay uh, so the first thing you want to download the, the the SDL here in this page there is many versions many version of SDL you want to download this VC okay for Visual Studio we will find the link in the descriptions below to go to this page or you can go yourself just go to libsdl.org and click here and then releases and this will redirect you to this page okay so just click here to start download the the lib okay so I have already downloaded it okay uh, so that's it so what you want to do go to C or any other disk for me I choose C for all SDKs okay so create a folder uh, let's name it SDL and I go here I uh, and I an archive this uh, this file inside this uh, SDL folder in C okay okay so now you can delete this file here okay and here in C when you go to C SDL so that's the include files and those are the lib Okay. There, if you want to, if you want to create an application, uh, targets to uh, sixty-four machine, you want to use this lib here, and if you want to use it for sixty, uh, for thirty-two, use this lib here. Okay, and you can use both in in just one project. Okay, so that's not our. Uh, topic in the in this video so let's open Visual Studio and create a new project uh, empty project let's put in the desktop SDL example and create uh, my computer is a little bit lazy because that I want to pause the video now so now it's created uh, what you want to do so the, the, the first thing let's create uh, a C file uh, C file uh, source CPP or name it whatever you want <coughs> and let's put this code here so I have this 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 little code this code just creates a window okay this just creates a window uh, let's use it uh, so here let's say so I have this problem here because I must configure this uh, this project first so let's right click in in here in the over the name of the project go to property so the first thing here uh, for example if you want to create 64 uh, uh, 32 so choose 32 and and uh, use the lib for 32 bit okay so the first thing let me go to properties and here that's release and that's uh, 32 I go to C general additional include libraries and I add the link okay so what where I go I go to C SDL and I add this folder okay select folder so that's where you will find the include files okay uh, so now this this error will go okay 
Yes. Uh, let me see what I did. So that's uh, this error uh, go, and the the other thing you want to enter to use also the libraries. Okay, uh, you go to linker and general uh, additional library directories here also. And remember that here I want to create uh, an application for 32 bits. Okay, so when where I go, so I go always to SDL SDK lib, and that's 86. So I choose 86. Okay, and also what you wanna do, you go here also in input. Okay. And let's go to to the libs. That's eighty six. I want to include this this lib names inside. So here additional dependencies. So, so that's linker input. Go here and edit and add them one by one here. Okay. So let's add this also. And let's add the last one. And press OK, apply. And press OK. Uh, let's let's run the program. <clears throat> Finish generating code. Uh, the program uh, created SDL example exe. But here there is a problem. The code execution cannot proceed because SDL two DLL was not found. So what's that mean? Uh, what that mean? What's that mean? If you go here, so that's that's our SDL uh, lib uh, eighty six. You want to use this DLL in the same folder with, with your executable. Okay, so just copy. Okay. Just copy this file, this DLL file, and go to your project. Excuse me. Go to your project. That's the release. That's the file the executable. I want to paste this DLL here. Okay. So what's that mean? That's mean that if I run now. There is no problem, okay. So that's your window. That's my little window, okay. So that's mean that SDL is working as well, okay. So that's it. Thank you for watching.